Okay. Which of the following risk factors is most commonly associated with the development of pancreatic adenocarcinoma? A 68-year-old man presents to the clinic with a three-month history of abdominal pain, weight loss, and jaundice. Laboratory tests reveal elevated bilirubin and alkaline phosphatase levels. Abdominal CT demonstrates a mass in the head of the pancreas. Biopsy confirms a diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. And which of the following risk factors are most commonly associated with it? Um, it's not Puitz Jaeger. Um, Puitz Jaeger, I believe, is like just um, it's a random disease. It's a disease of the colon anyway. Um I'm between, I think it's just smoking. I think smoking is literally almost everything. So I would probably go with that. Okay. But chronic pancreatitis could lead to it. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Um, and then always family history could always lead to it. But I, I still would probably go with smoking. I would have a harder time going against it than with it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, this is a tricky question here. Um, <laughs> I remember writing this and I'm like, this is kind of messed up, but I'm going to keep it. In there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So this question for sure, you know, you have to always ask yourself, which is going to give you the highest risk factor here. And they're going to have some of these questions for sure on your step one or step two exam. Um, you think to yourself, you know, um, all of these are certain risk factors, right? So chronic pancreatitis can increase your risk. Smoking can increase your risk. History of pancreatic cancer for sure can increase your risk, right? Um, so really you're picking which one's the best. And so, you know, the highest risk factor for a lot of, a lot of cancers, just remember almost tons of our cancer, kidney cancer, head and neck cancer, laryngeal cancer, et cetera, right. Is smoking is going to be your greatest risk factor. Of course, are there others? Yeah. Age is a huge one, right? The older you are, the higher chances that you have cancer. Just remember that. Um, but of course, you know, family history is important. Radiation history is important. All these things increase your risk of cancer, but smoking is a really, really big one. So that's mm -hmm. going to be your best answer choice here. 